Guess who's getting into the XR race? Google and Samsung. The Samsung Galaxy XR, which I'm currently wearing on my head, is available now for $1,800 in the US and Korea. And what it is, is well, it's a VR headset, but it also has pass-through, and it's kind of like a combination between the MetaQuest Pro, which is now discontinued, and the Apple Vision Pro. The big difference here is Gemini AI, which can see both the world around you and what's on the apps inside this headset. And that's a really fascinating look at where things are going next. Now, Samsung and Google have plans for a whole galaxy, so to speak, of products that are coming within the next couple of years. AI glasses, display glasses, wireless display glasses, and VR headsets like these. And the Galaxy XR is meant to be kind of that first step to show how AI could be working with what you see and what you hear to create this multimodal AI experience. There are a number of Android apps on this. In fact, it should run millions of Android apps according to Google, but there are some optimized ones too. Netflix is exclusively on this. YouTube has a bunch of immersive videos. Maps, Google Maps has been enhanced with all of these 3D features and the ability to walk through uh, immersive locations. Google and Samsung both admit that this type of a product is only one part of the picture. But right now, for $1,800, the entry price is a lot more affordable than what Apple had been charging for the Vision Pro previously. I think there are gonna be some more features that roll out for this over time, and there are optional controllers that give you that VR game controller-like feel, and it's very lightweight. This thing feels a lot lighter than other headsets on my face. It's partially also had the band distributes weight.